our next speaker is maybe you want to start getting hooked up here while I'm announcing you. Richard Snyder, the fountain of youth. The fountain of youth. Richard Snyder. Raise your hand if you found the fountain of youth. Well, I hope after my speech tonight, I inspire you to all go out and find the fountain of youth. As I look out over the audience, I can see that some of you are struggling with the same signs of middle age that I am. You know the signs, receding hairline, memory loss. I can't even remember all the other signs. But it was my 60th year on this earth that inspired me to make a change. Mr. Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, yes, it was turning the big 6-0 that inspired me to go out and find the Fountain of Youth. I remember reading as a high school student about Ponce de Leon and how he went to Florida to find the Fountain of Youth. And so I set out to Florida. But when I got there, all I found were elderly people with white and gray hair. How oh, demoralizing, I thought. I must be the youngest person in the entire state. I'll never find the fountain of youth here. Well, I must have stuck out like a sore thumb because it wasn't long after arriving that an elderly gentleman approached me. Shiny, are you the one they sent to teach us how to vote? Vote? Yeah, you remember several years ago, we had the hanging chads and the counts and the recounts, and I lost count of all the recounts. Are you going to teach us how to vote? We have a big election coming up next year. No, I'm... I'm looking for the fountain of youth. Well, he looked at me as if I must have been off my rocker. Well, come back in 10 years. But I was determined, and so I continued. And it wasn't long after that that I saw it. A large sign, Colts de Leon's fountain of youth. I hurried in that direction, and just then it happened. Coming in the opposite direction, right toward me, was Hurricane Charlie. I was blown off my path into hokey pokey, okey finokey, whatever that blasted lake was. It was all I could do to get out of the lake before the gators got me. People that can't boat, hurricanes, gators, I've had it. I'm going back to California. The following Monday, I was back at work lamenting how close I had come to finding the fountain of youth. As I looked at my students, my special needs students, during lunch and recess, it suddenly occurred to me, I was surrounded by the fountain of youth. That great philosopher turned baseball player, Yogi Berra once said, you can observe a lot just by watching. So over the next few weeks, I watched my students and have come up with the following three observations about staying young. Number one, be childlike. Not childish, but be childlike. When I look in the mirror, I see a middle-aged man with a receding hairline. Well, that's an easy fix. I just put on a wig. As a child, I used to take a Dr. Seuss lunchbox to school. Well, as an adult, I take a Dr. Seuss cat in a hat lunchbox to work. A clear sign that I have kept in contact with the child in me. Number two, make life an adventure. I'm not talking about the kind of adventure I had in Florida with hurricanes and gators. I'm talking about making every day count. Why, every day I take my lunchbox to work is an adventure. I never know what my wife's going to pack for me. Let's find out what she packed today. Peanut butter and jelly sandwich. An apple. We all know an apple a day helps keep the doctor away. Chocolate pudding for lots of energy. And fruit juice to wash it all down. What's this? 
Dear Snookums, that's private. Number three, have fun and learn to laugh at life and laugh at yourself. It's been estimated that children laugh 500 times a day. Adults, on the other hand, laugh less than 50 times a day. Ever wonder how Jack Benny and Bob Hope lived to be 100? They never stopped laughing. My children arrive to school in the morning laughing and smiling, and I put them on the bus in the afternoon, and they're still laughing and smiling. Adults have forgotten how to play. When my students used to ask me, Mr. Snyder, come play with us. I'd look at their play clothes, and then I'd look at my work clothes, and I'd say, I'm sorry, I can't. But not anymore, whether at work or play, I'm just seconds away from being ready to play. Oh, postmasters, if you want to stay young, remember these three points. Keep child life by tapping into the child within you. Make life an adventure. And remember to have fun and learn to laugh at yourself. For as that comedian forever 39-year-old Jack Benny once said, age is strictly a mind over matter. You don't mind, it doesn't matter. And that's why in 30 years when they ask me, Richard, how old are you? Hey, I'm 50 years young. What's that? How do I stay? I, I, I found a copy of you. Well, where is it? It's here. And it's here. The secret to staying young is being young at heart. Mr. Topmaker.